If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Casieri, aka Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. So, we have a lot to talk about in this video, guys. Now, I was going to make this video earlier, uh, and I actually had it uploaded and ready to be uh, revealed, but then I lost track of the time, and then I realized that Rising Stars are going to be fully revealed uh within the next little uh within the next hour when i wanted to let it go so i decided to put it off till now uh and also there is a big a big news coming uh in regards to a to a card coming tomorrow but for the rising stars let's talk about it so we got christian Ful uh, fulton coming tomorrow uh he was revealed this morning on the good morning madden stream as you can see right here he has um 95 uh speed 95 excel you know, 96 man, 94 zone, all great stats. Then we have the ones that are revealed this afternoon, uh, th this evening. So the first card is going to be uh, Amonra St. Brown. God, I hope I said that right. Pardon me. Um, 96 speed, 94, 93, and 94 for the route running. This card is pretty good. Um, 25 out of 50 Lions will get you 99 speed, which is nice however i would prefer preferably not have it that way i'd rather just at this point you know with how the juice these cards are are right now but uh whatever it is what it is javante williams is the next card 95 speed 95 trucking and break tackling uh 92 change of direction he actually has very good catching for a power back at 83 uh so i actually do like this javante williams card he's pretty good uh, you know, the power back getting tank. And then today they just revealed uh, that there is going to be a career tribute for Brady. And it is coming tomorrow. Now, we knew this was coming, but we actually hadn't. I thought it was going to be on Thursday. I said in that video that I wanted to on uh, wanted to release it to the public. That I actually wanted to. I actually thought it was going to be coming Thursday. Because of the fact that with Big, Big, Big Ben, when he announced his retirement, they didn't announce his card till the next day. And then his card came out the day afterwards. So uh, it appears that they're good, they're jumping right on it right away with Tom Brady. So um, Tom Brady stats, 83, 82 speed, um, 97 throw power. I'm reading off the base stats because there's a couple there's a different re there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, but 99, 99, 98 accuracy, 98 on throw under pressure, 91, uh, 97 under pressure, 90 throw on the run, and 99 play action. Um, now you can power this up and you will get the extra plus one to the accuracy and the throw power and the throw under pressure. Uh, however, there's a couple of things with this. The first thing is the fact that this Brady will get Gunslinger for five AP, but he'll get Hot Round Master for one AP. So that is six AP for your entire offense right there for Tom Brady. So you could do that. Or you could power this card up and get the extra plus one and potentially get a scape artist. Now, there's a couple of things. There's a couple of other things that make me question this. There's a couple of other things that make me think about this. First, normally 99 overalls get five ability slots. So if that's the case, then when you power up this, if you say you get this Tom Brady. Say you pull this Tom Brady out of a pack and you want to keep this Brady. You power it up, you power up, you you unlocked all the other boosts and slots and whatnot. Does that mean then he can get escape artist, which will cost six AP, by the way. So that's 12 AP right there, which you know, I don't think I don't think escape artist at six AP for especially for a quarterback with 82 speed is worth it. You know, if it hadn't if Tom Brady, if this Brady card had 95 speed, which isn't would be bonkers by the way but if he had that highest speed then i would say yeah okay escape artist for 6 ap is worth it but then you know then you would have to be paying 6 ap for hot round master and gunslinger so at the end of the day is it really worth it to power up this brady i'm gonna say no i don't think it is but if you do feel that way if you don't want the hot round master or you don't want the gunslinger and you just rather would have pass lead elite which a lot of people including myself have gone over to using uh, then obviously, yeah, you go, you do that, obviously, because, you know, it's going to be a lot easier. So, uh, but there is that for the Tom Brady. Also, there is going to be a Tom Brady for the, um, and there's going to be an end cat tribute to Tom Brady as well. It's same with the big Ben. It costs third, uh, 30,000 training. 
It's going to be in the training option for a couple of weeks, from my knowledge. Uh, from what it looks like here, you can see uh, well, uh, on the buy with, it has uh, 12 days and 15 hours. So it's probably going to be in the store for a uh, for a couple, for a little while. Uh, I don't think this Tom Brady is going to be able to get escape orders whatsoever or whatnot. But he will be able to still get Gunslinger and Hot Rod Master. Uh, now, will this Brady go into power up? Probably not, because if it did, you would have seen the power up symbol right by the card itself. Uh, but you know, Brady, you know, he had a great, he had a obvi obviously the greatest career in football history, and definitely, I'm I'm very happy that EA kind of jumped on it right away. They didn't put it off for a day or so. They're literally jumping on it and being like, "Yep, yeah, no, we're getting this card out. Here's a card for you guys." Um, yeah, so it is what it is with that. Now, there's a couple of other things I did want to touch on uh that happened over the weekend actually before i do go i actually just saw this uh, right at the moment of me recording this video so this card actually does go in the power up and he does not get escape artist with this ability as you can see right at the bottom here there is a power up symbol uh but he does have 79 speed 95 throw power 95 under pressure solid accuracy stats doesn't have a great throw on the run but he does have 98 play action so yeah, this is the new Tom Brady. This is the NCAT Tom Brady powered up. Now you can get this or you can get the goal 99. I don't necessarily think, I don't, I think you could probably do both. You probably could put this in there and then put the, the, um, goal 99 Brady, or you could do like, I don't know how they're doing it. Like, I really don't, I feel it's a little weird, but nevertheless, there is an NCAT Tom Brady coming tomorrow, but now let's get into what else, what I wanted to talk about. And it's the whole recent LTD controversy. So over the weekend, on the 30th of January, so it was a couple of days ago, uh, someone was uh, dropping a bunch of Amani, uh, Amani's and Mike Kaseki's for 100 coins apiece. And it literally, it crashed the market. Like, I'll showcase here. There you go. So, and it literally crashed the market, as you can see right here. All of these are 100 coins each. And obviously, people were buying them, and people were going absolutely nuts over this card because obviously 100 coin ltd why not but it's wild to me how this has happened and now because of this you can no longer sell this amani for the actual ltd price you cannot for even for the 250,000 coins that you see right here you cannot sell it now for this because someone crashed the market to where uh you can only sell it now for 600 coins because of uh, with the price range you can only sell it up to six times the median price uh and because of the fact that this price dropped the for the uh amani ltd to 100 coins yeah like 100 times six is 600 so yeah you no longer can sell this card for that amount and you know i i hope this i hope ea understands now that you cannot you can't have these price ranges in the game anymore you can't have these price ranges in this game you have to take it out for next year even this year i'd argue you take it out of the game in the next update or whatever you can just get rid of these price ranges uh these median prices and stuff like that stop trying to control the market i understand you did it because you wanted to control coin distribution however you're not going to do that. You're never going to stop coin distribution because people are still going to buy coins regardless. People, you know, EA just does, just hasn't figured it out yet that people are still going to do it and they're still get like there's different ways people are doing it now. They're like I'm not going to explain how cuz I'll admit I've done it, you know, everyone has. But the point is like if your whole purpose was to try to control the market to make it so that way you know, you're not having seen people spend a million coins on a silver. Well, guess what? That's their own stupid fault of they're buying a mil coins for a million, a silver card for like 400,000 coins. That's their own fucking fault. Like that's nobody else's fault, but your theirs. So overall, I do think this is a bad idea that EA implemented. And now the consequences are coming back to bite them in the ass. But let me know what you guys think about this, uh, about everything uh, about the Tom Brady uh, LTD coming tomorrow about the uh, market, uh, the market co controls controlling, I guess was what I'm trying to say. Uh, hit the like button if you guys did and subscribe if you guys are new. Also, just a little bit of a tidbit of information before I do finish up here. We are confirmed to be getting the Super Bowl pass promo this Friday. 
Now, we don't know the players in it yet. They are going to reveal the players Thursday during the MCS stream, which I'm not surprised because the MCS stream is going to be on Wednesday and Thursday. Also, remember, guys, to get the new cards like the Darwin James uh, card, make sure your EA account is linked to your profile uh, on Twitch. Once you've linked those, then you can start receiving drops, but just by having the thing just playing in the background, you don't have to listen to any of it. Hell, you can just hit the mute. You can just mute it all and then just turn your phone upside down and just go do something else. Like, that's all you need to do, which is what I do. Hell, even at work when I was trying to get these t the tokens uh, over the weekend, I think it's what it was, Saturday, uh, 28th and 29th. That was Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Friday and Saturday, even I was just turning, like, just turning my phone, like, just putting my phone in my pocket and just have it uh, playing while I was at work. So uh, it is what it is with that. But uh, that being said, guys, now I'll see. You, now I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Okay, I lied. This is the last thing because I just remembered this again as I was recording this video. Uh, the Stefan Diggs LTD remake rights. So there was a couple of things that went wrong with the Stefan Diggs in terms of the um, store on the 27th and then the training reroll. So for the 27th, uh, Stefan Diggs issue. Uh, play, he basically was advertised to be in packs when he wasn't. Uh, so people ended up buying packs for the in between those five minutes. So players that were impacted will be receiving all the packs back. Basically, if you bought like 30 packs within that time frame, uh, you will be getting 30 packs in return. Uh, and then for the training reroll, Stefan Diggs, if you did get, if you did do the training reroll between 10:30 a.m. and 11:57 a.m. Eastern time on the 28th, you'll actually be getting 2,820 uh, training for each reroll that you did for the 88 plus reroll. So if you did it 10 times, you'll get 28,200 training. So uh, thoughts about this though, real quick. I think this is a great actual make right rather than having the actual card itself that only sells for 100 AP uh, for 100 training. I mean, you can just get the card in general. You can just get the training back, and then you can just use it on, like, you know, whatever else. So, uh, But, yeah, that's it, guys. Now I'm done.